Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you the unboxing and the first look of a new Rough Rider Reserve that I recently had the chance to purchase. It will be the model number RR016. This is the Reserve Small Copperhead. Like all Rough Rider Reserve lines, it comes in a nice uh, tube. And it is also wrapped in a microfiber cloth. So a nice little bonus right there and wrapped in the VCI paper to help with the corrosion of course so, so this is nicely and sealed okay so let me give you the quick specifications so we have a overall length of 12.8 centimeters this is 5 inches the blade is 5.4 centimeters 2. inches long with a cutting edge of 4.4 centimeters or 1.7 inch the blade width is 1.1 cm or 0 0.43 inches. The blade uh, thickness is 1.7 mm or 0 0.06 inches. The handle is 7.5 cm or 3 inches long with a thickness of 1 cm or 0 0.4 inches. The blade is made out of uh, D2 with a nice satin coping uh, reverse tanto uh, profile. On the blade we have the model number D2 China and on this side we have the triple R logo. The handle is made out of traditional materials like uh, we have brass liners and we have stainless steel bolsters with a nice uh, denim micarta uh, inlay which is polished. We have a arrowhead uh, shield made out of nickel silver and also uh, pins the fit and finish on these uh, triple R reserve line knives are really excellent one added feature is uh, this uh, what I would say something like a keyring keyring holder or a lanyard if you would like to use some kind of, uh, of cord to pass through it's definitely nothing heavy like 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 paracord of course but definitely it can also serve as a keychain knife if you choose to do so but uh, it is up to you of course okay the weight comes at 32.2 grams or 1.1 ounce They say this is a uh, copperhead uh, pattern. Just for comparison, I have here the, the previous copperhead that I own. This is from the uh, Blue Denim Micarta series. So I I don't know if there are any similarities. But if you know more about uh, this pattern, then please uh, leave comments down below. I'm certain uh, my viewers are well uh, more knowledge in these uh, traditional patterns than I am, so I will be really grateful to uh, have more information. Okay, so let's try the sharpness. So out of the box, it is definitely sharp but I feel the toothiness to the edge, so this could use a little bit of stropping. I'm really happy that they went with the, with the coping or the K-tip or reverse tanto profile because, uh, let's face it, uh, such a small knife, uh, maybe uh, if you carry something like this in your 5th uh, gen pocket, then this will be an excellent helper 
in your day-to-day -day task, make you maybe opening packages, uh, open, opening opening bags of chips and, <laughs> and so on. So definitely have a nice uh, helper with you is always uh, good. Okay, so the opening method, we have a max strike pull. And I have not marked the tension, but I will say this is something in the area of 5.5, definitely under six. So definitely no problems with opening and closing. We have 90 degree half stop and I will try to, uh, to open it and close it in front of the microphone. So definitely we have a really nice walk and talk. And this is how it's supposed to be. If you would like to carry a knife, then you have to check all these marks to, so that it is not cumbersome or uh, problematic to, to open and close. Nobody wants to carry a knife that is uh, that ha has a nail buster uh, spring tension to it, <laughs> like some of the uh, some of the earlier green micarta ones had. So definitely really really nice beautiful profile. If you know me, I I really like my uh, rough head peanut. So this is in the same ballpark, a little bit, a uh, little bit longer. So let me give you the size comparisons. So there you have it. So I brought out also a few other Rough Riders that I have so that we can enjoy a little bit of eye candy. So here is the Copperhead from the Denim My Carter series. And as for comparisons go, the Triple R uh, my carta is a little bit lighter and lighter shade of blue. So now let's continue with. Here is the dog legged uh, canoe, which is a little bit smaller, just a tiny hair. Of. Then the newest uh, my carta, you know, the newest, the, the previous uh, series. Uh, was the faded denim jean micarta so here's the comparison and uh, let me show you all three of them so you can see the comparisons so the the faded blue jean is definitely a more vibrant more darker blue i don't know uh, what's going on they they say it is faded i would probably say oh this is more faded or even this is more faded than this one but well uh, the naming of the Rough Riders, uh, not uh, every time they they uh, are exact with the material we are getting. And so that being said, <laughs> here is the Tater or Brown Micarta series uh, work knife, a small one, because they did not make a large one. For comparison, here is the full-sized uh, Swordbuster Junior. Here's a Barlow from the Triple Line series. CVV Rustic Gent with the Micarta scales. Here is the Lil Blue from Rough Rider. If you're looking for something more modern and want a slick joint, then check out this one. Really nice, inexpensive knife. Okay, let's bring out also the peanut from Case. And this was the Texas toothpick. So let get these all in the frame with also with buck in their Texas toothpick version okay so now let's do a few spider calls so here is the cricket here is the ladybug in the salt series 
with a nice wicked one click blade. Or should I say hogbill? Here is the smallest one of the onions, the, the chive, designed by Ken Onion, of course, made by Kershaw. And I have here one more spider co, one of my oldest spider co's I have. This is the baby Goddard in brown linen micarta. Okay, this will be a little bit larger, but also let's do a dragonfly. And buck uh, vintage select small. Let's do a couple more. Here is the Pillar one from CRKT. The small feldspar or mini feldspar from CGRB. A small reptilian from Benchmade. And let's close it down with a K bar Dozier Folding Hunter. Like I usually do. So yes, this is another beautiful uh, traditional pocket knife or new pattern for me. I'm really happy that uh, Rough Rider does continue to make these uh, triple R series. Yes, they are a little bit on a more expensive side. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the pricing at this part of the video. So if you are from US uh, uh, You will be glad that you can get these for uh, 39.99 uh, If you live here in Europe like me, you have to pay all sorts of additional taxes and fees. So uh, This one uh, did cost uh, 51 euros So a little bit uh, expensive for such a, a small knife but uh, well uh, if you collect them then uh, it is well worth the, the money for you and I'll be obviously happy if uh, these were uh, much more inexpensive since they are made in China but uh, the quality is there the materials are decent please keep in mind this is a not a uh, full stainless steel so uh, keep it oiled up or or uh, stored away in a in a nice uh, non-human environment okay so with that being said i wish you a wonderful day if you have any questions please leave comments down below i'm more than happy to reply as soon as i can of course if you are a subscriber thank you very much big thumbs up to you and if you are not a subscriber then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos i try to release at least three videos per week also knife and gear oriented but sometimes other stuff regarding my other hobbies with that being said Wish you a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon.